This is Bailey. Happy to introduce Molly. Well, this is Beaker. This is Norman. This is Norman. This is our dog, May May. So this is Watson. And we named her Bailey with the help of some students, actually. Um, we were going between Bailey, Honey Butter, which is my wife's uh, first pick, and Bill. I've been told a lot that she looks like a Molly. It's a fitting name for her. <laughs> Well, actually, a friend of mine named her. I got her when I was in Colorado a couple years ago. We narrowed it down to Waldo or Norman. And, we uh, had Herman in the running, too, because I really like Herman. Herman, Herman is there, too. Melville. So we actually decided to name her Meihua, which is the winter flower in China. But then it got shortened to Mei Mei. And, um, I named him after the best sidekick in literature, because he's going to be my sidekick. She loves the dining hall. Yeah, don't you love the dining hall, Bailey? <laughs> She's actually really afraid of traffic, so she hates um, JFK, Mass Ave, anywhere where buses frequently are. Um, she loves going to Fresh Pond. She likes running around outside. We've brought her hiking a few times up in New Hampshire. Favorite places? I would have to say it's the Cambridge Public Library um, lawn area, where there's a lot of dogs that come by around 6 p.m. that run around with her. I knew that she likes being around people, but I thought it might be too much stimulus. Um, she handles being around a lot of people really, really well. Well, he really likes to go see films at the Brattle Theater, and he likes upper crust. He loves to run around in this courtyard right between Strauss and Matthews. Um, she always speed. manages to get her leash off. I don't know how it happens. <laughs> he likes anywhere that there are people to pet him. So Harvard Yard is great because there's always somebody who wants to pet him. The first time we actually got her, and uh, we're throwing a ball around in our in our room. Um, she didn't really know what to make of it, and so at first, it's it's fun seeing like over a five minute period, her being really afraid of this thing and not knowing what it is, to like jumping around and like kind of pouncing like a little rabbit after it. I was on a road trip with Molly, um, on the way to Detroit, and we had to stay a night in Syracuse, and all the hotels were booked, and the one hotel room that we did find, they said no dogs. And what we ended up doing is wrapping her in a series of blankets and putting um, a hood over her, so it looked like she was, <laughs> she was a child. I'd read on the internet that Basenjis don't really fetch. And I thought, well, she's a mix, so I don't know whether she'll have that trait or not. And I picked up a stick outside and threw it a little bit, and she ran over and grabbed it. And I thought, well, there we go. So I was hoping to play fetch with my dog. He smokes some um, cigarettes. <laughs> he's, he's kind of addicted to chew sticks. So yeah, yeah. Know, he likes to smoke a cigarette. Take <laughs> a chew stick and... Uh, All Jake's reading. You know, it's a bad habit, but it, uh, <laughs> it really makes him less nervous. And, um, yeah, it does. We've had students day. come by and like knock on the door and just ask to like play with her. Mm -hmm. um, you can also contact her on Facebook. He's a, he's a great little dog and um, he's really funny because here in the dorm he'll lie over by the doorway and just put his head down and he'll wait for the students to walk by. What do you think of the college's ban on students having pets? I think just because students do live in a community and um, there's the possibility of allergies, um, I think that is probably one of the main reasons why the ban exists. And I totally understand that part. It could be a hygienic problem if the pet isn't fully um, house trained. Having a dog is a huge responsibility and I think if I had not lived in Colorado where it was much easier to take care of a dog, I wouldn't have gotten a dog. And that said, I love having her here, but it's partly because we established our relationship then, which was sort of a time where I could get used to taking care of a dog, the dog could get to know me, and so I can see how it would be very difficult for students to have dogs. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing that the two of us have implicitly agreed to have a, like an animal because it kind of changes a lot about your schedule and everything else. And yeah. so to impose something like a dog on three other roommates or however many would um, probably end up very badly in the majority of situations, I would suspect. Harvard students don't really have a lot of time, and the amount of time that these types of animals take, I, I wouldn't want to see a dog neglected. I'm glad that we can at least provide, you know, kind of a stand-in pet um, for, for students to enjoy. Even though it's not their own, um, we definitely try to get her out there and allow people enjoy her as much as they can.